Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Can you believe that? Can you believe Simon Peter said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Is this his real Peter? And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Can you hear me? Can you hear Jesus said? Without Holy Spirit, without faith, you cannot say, you cannot confess like this Simon Peter. This is the right answer back then, and it is still the right answer today. But what does it mean that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God? Jesus knew that the disciples would not know the answer to that question until after he suffered, died, and rose from the dead. That is the reason that Jesus gave that odd little instruction near the end of the today's reading. He strictly charged the disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. He did not want disciples to teach wrong understanding of what it means to be the Christ. The title Christ comes from the Greek word that means to anoint it. The Hebrew equivalent is Messiah. So we can say Christ. We can say Messiah. We can say the anointed one. They all mean the same thing. Anointing was a right for setting sons aside for a special office. In the Old Testament, Aaron, Moses' brother, Aaron was anointed priest. King David, David was anointed king. And Elijah anointed Elisha to be the prophet after him. The anointed offices of the Old Testament are priest, king, and prophet as the anointed one. Jesus fulfilled all of these offices. Jesus is the prophet anointed by God. It is easy to see Jesus as prophet when we realize what a prophet is and who Jesus is. A prophet is someone who speaks for God. Jesus is both 100% human and 100% God. Well, who better to speak for God than God himself, Jesus the Christ? This already makes Jesus the ultimate prophet. But Jesus went above and beyond the role of the normal prophet. God made many promises through the prophets down through the centuries. As prophet, Jesus himself made many promises. Jesus went beyond the role of the prophet because he did not just speak of the promise, promises of God, but he also kept the promises that God made through the mouth of the, the prophets. Jesus is the king anointed by God. As God, Jesus also reigns over all things. That makes him the king of kings and lord of lords. It is by the reign of his power that all things exist and have their being. It is by the reign, it is by the reign of his grace that he brings forgiveness to his church on earth. It is by the reign of his glory that he leads his church into eternity. Here too. Jesus served above and beyond any other king. As king, he established the law of his kingdom. But Jesus went beyond the role of king. Even though the king rules even the law, Jesus humbled himself in obedience to the law. 
He not only kept the law for himself, but he also kept the law in all places. Jesus is the priest anointed by God. The priest represent the people before God. Who better to represent humanity before God than the one who is both God and man? In fact, Jesus is the only one true qualified to be our priest. All the other priests in the Old Testament were merely show who pointed forward to the true high priest, Jesus, the only anointed. Once again, Jesus went beyond the role of priest. The priest of the Old Testament offered up sacrifice before God. Jesus offered up himself as the once for all sacrifice that truly does take away the sin of the whole world. It is at the cross that we see what it means to be the cross. There, on the cross is the Christ sacrificing himself for the sin of the whole entire world. There is the Christ, the rock on which the church is built. With his suffering and death on the cross, Christ has overcome sin. Since death relies on sin, Christ has also defeated death. Resurrection must have followed the victory that Christ won for us on the cross. It is with his resurrection from the grave that Jesus finished showing the disciples and us what it means to be the Christ. It is after the resurrection that Jesus opened his disciples' mind to understand the scripture and said to them, Thus, it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the first day rise from the dead. It is with the complete picture of the Christ's suffering, death, and resurrection that we have a complete picture of what it means to be the Christ. It is with this complete picture that we begin to understand Peter's compassion. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Peter did not bring this compassion up on his own. Jesus said that the Father in heaven gave this compassion to Peter. This confession is so reliable that it is the foundation of the Christ the church. Jesus continues speaking and said, and I will tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. Right after Peter, see how many churches do this in, in all of the world. Jesus promise is a living, a living make it true. This confession is solid like a rock and it tells us who Jesus is and what Jesus did. Okay, today we heard the Peter's confession as it is recorded in the Gospel according to men. We can Proclaim this confession in our world, in our songs. We can proclaim that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Since we live after the resurrection, we can know that the Christ is the one who lived a perfect life for us and carried our sins to death on a cross and rose from the dead in order to take away our sin and give us his righteousness and eternal life. We who have this faith in Jesus as the Christ have a relationship with God that will last forever. Jesus promised that he would always dwell with us while we live on this earth. We don't have to pray anything. He has also promised that we who believe will live with, with him forever when we leave this world. The blessing of this confession is 
way better than anything our speculation can provide you. And because it comes from God, the Father Almighty, we know it is, it is very true. When you receive the Holy Spirit, when you have right faith, your confession, your talking, your conversation, always like Peter. Our Lord Jesus Christ is Messiah. He is the Messiah. He is Christ. He will anoint you one. He is only Son of the Living God. And He is Lord of Lord and King of Kings. And He is King of the Universe. Amen. Amen. Please rise. Our King of Day. 623 with the letter 6.